guys, it's Queen EJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 15 of No Guns Life. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Because he found his purpose. And, I mean, once you found your purpose in life, you are the happiest that you can ever be. Of course. You felt empty. There's a butt. I don't like you now. Something like that. I don't know. Or I don't like what you become because. Okay, so I do love the fact that because her brother found what he truly wanted to do in life, it also helped her to find out what she wanted to do for the rest of her life. That's good. But because of the fact is her brother, to me. And it could also be to her as well. He's a shell of what he once was. I mean, joining this cult and then doing whatever at the same time. He, he's not the same person anymore. She's not, he's not what she envisioned as, I don't want to say like this great man, but like someone who she idolized because it seems like Mary truly idolized her brother. And you can tell that by the way she looked at him and how she said the place i want to be with is with you it's almost how like with um the relationship with kiriso and asana kiriso knows what he wants to do for the rest of his life and asana is the type of character who's like even though as of right now we don't know what asana wants to do for the rest of his life all she knows is that she wants to be with kiriso at the end of the day just like mary but i feel like at the same time because of what he's done. Mary's found her purpose. And I hope and pray that Asana, you know, in the show eventually finds out what she wants to do, what her purpose is in life. Maybe I don't know. I would be nice instead of her being known as, hey, this is Kitty Show's girlfriend. And sorry for that. I just need to talk about that real quick. I mean, the human robots and people can think. You sure about that? Because, I mean... Well, I mean, he might even kill you. So he knows literally everything about you.
I mean, you know, she could just wiggle her arm, but it depends on how tight that robot centipede ish is on her. Really? Of course, it will be the control in this package. Sense. But see, that's cheating. It should be one on one, not what five against one. I'm just saying. That's why every single time you see someone, they're always in a really fucked up mess. You can see here, you can do, oh my god, he's. Honestly, those look like some veins. Um, God, that's fucked up. How does someone who was so sweet and pure turn into someone like that? I mean, exactly. The one who you idolize. Oh, okay. Well, at least one got him. Good help. <laughs> you gonna okay? Bite him. You sure? Hey. Because, of course, Mary's the only one who can do it. Damn. 
Well, you know, he ain't gonna come back to life after that. I mean, you know, th- there is no coming back from that. I mean, oof. <laughs> oof. Even though you probably didn't want to, but that's the right thing to do. No. You thought that he was dead, oh my god! I'm gonna cry over this thing, oh my god. So you're still Victor. So, like, the good side of Victor? Before, you know, he was corrupted by the cult and evil in it? Oh. But then it <laughs> Okay. That makes sense. It was your mind, like, switched to the web theaters or something? I don't know! Mm-hmm. What? Oh my god, Legos. Of course. There always is. So my thing is, what the hell happened? Like, okay, here we go. Because my biggest thing is, how you go from a human to a left hand with your subconscious in it?
that is just awesome. That's some nightmare fuel right there. A real bummer right now. Mm -hmm. The puppet, basically. This is some like Five Nights at Freddy's ish. I mean, excuse me. But it's the truth. Ain't that dude? The um the other police officer? Or the guy who's the police officer told him to look look up. Mm -hmm. It has to be. To just watch them for a couple of like uh police or whatever. I mean, here's the thing. How in the world do y'all not know that somebody is looking at y'all, watching your every move? Of course. Mm -hmm. Of course, he can't tell you because that could jeopardize his life. Do you know? You don't know. Is it where um, Tezero is? Well, that's good. Fluffy. Damn, so Lefty really about to die. Damn, Victor.
And we're not even going to see. Oh, okay, never mind. We might see him. See, I told you. I told you. I, you can't You cannot trust the police in anime. Oh, my God. You can't trust anybody in anime. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I knew there was something about him that I did not like. And then, bam, right there. <laughs> Cobb, right? That's his fucking name. Oh, my God. This now goes to Tiffany place of, like, you can't trust, like, in Trigger, you can't, in Trigger shows, you can never trust the blonde, hot, good-looking guy, because they're usually the bad guys. <laughs> you can't trust someone who is officially, like, <laughs> introduced into the show, and you look at them, and you're like, yeah, I don't know if I can trust you, and then bada-bing, bada-boom, right there, I mean, mm. How do I, <laughs> the feelings that I have about characters, because sometimes I'm right about it, and then sometimes I'm wrong about it, but, oh, uh, so then why is he, okay, what if he is a part of the, no, he can't, Cobb can't be a part of the fucking cult, but he's got to be doing something, something about him is very untrustworthy to me, I don't know what it is, it's just, I think it's his demeanor, the first impressions I got from him, and then just the way he looks. I mean, no guy like that, the way he looks and dresses is, is not good. I mean, I'm sorry. You can't trust him. Plus, the fact is, he's... He working for... <laughs> he's technically a cop. You can't trust him. So it's gotta be either he Cobb is working with he's flip flopping with um two people like he's working with like two different organizations so like either mm, the cops and then someone else that he's getting paid for so he's probably doing some undercover bullshit work or he is in a group and he is technically the leader and so he's doing things on his own I don't really know but I feel like he is working with another organization that we haven't truly met yet. I mean, it was also weird to go into this episode and not really have Tetsuo in this and the ish that he's currently. Because, like, let's go back to last week when Tetsuo was with the cult leader and they were talking. And then they just, after that, it just ended and it shifted back to Mary and Juzo. And so I was thinking that this week's episode, we would have went back to them. But I'm like, okay, I get the fact that, you know, Mary is the main focus. And I love the fact that Mary has, you know, out of the... 15 episodes that we've had in this series Mary to me she hasn't gotten little to none focus but there are episodes where she has gotten really good character development and focus and this is one of many and so for a Mary focus episode and learning about her brother more was very interesting but like I, I got questions about Tessa and that cult because the fact is that I think he said, he said that his dad was a part of it and then he's technically a part of it as well but he doesn't remember um, doing stuff, so I'm hoping that 16, 16, 17, or 18, because, <laughs> I mean, there's only, like, there's less than 12 episodes that we have left of this show. I just need an episode, like, on his backstory, and doing a flashback episode on Tetsuro, and what he was doing before he met Juzo, Mary, Chris, everyone else, and there's like that, because he's... To me, like, ever since we met him in the first half of the show, like, one of the most mysterious characters. Like, you think you know him, but then at the same time you don't. It's almost like when you meet someone, you think you know everything about them, and then you find something new about a person, and you're like, damn, almost everything you told me was a lie. Not to say that he's like that, but it's just, when you look at Tetsuro, you're looking at him like, damn, I feel like I know you, but then at the same time, I don't know you. And who knows, he could be a bad guy in disguise, and he doesn't even remember himself. But just give me an episode on a flashback about him. That's the biggest thing that I want. You gave me the Mary and Victor moments for, like, the past two weeks now, and I loved it. It was something that, honestly, I really needed for Mary because, like I said, she's been the character focus, like, one 
been through twice. And so to have not only one, but two episodes on her and her backstory with her brother, I mean, was very interesting, but still, I need that to throw, like, ish, like, now. But since the puppet is technically dead, I mean, he can still, his subconscious, his brain's up can go to into another body so he could he could be anywhere and then i mean you know that shit on cop i don't know i mean what the i i don't know what's gonna happen next i'm i'm mm, mm, mm. i ain't scared i'm just worried now because i mean what what the hell could happen with this show i mean I feel like it's going one way and then it's going to go a completely different way. But honestly, I ain't going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode 15 of No Guns Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 16. Bye, guys.